Imagine if you could charge your car for just five minutes and then drive 1,000 kilometers straight. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but in reality, this is no longer just a dream. It could soon become a reality. Toyota has recently made an announcement that has shaken the entire automotive industry, the solid state battery. You may have heard this term many times before, but until now, it existed mostly in research papers. Today, it's on the verge of becoming real. Until now, the biggest fear of owning an electric car has always been its long charging time and short driving range. But if a car can truly run 1,000 kilometers after just five minutes of charging, then the age of petrol and diesel cars could come to an end. The big question is, is this technology really coming to change our lives? Or is it just another promise that will fade away with time? And if it's true, then the foundations of companies like Tesla, BYD and others are about to be shaken. In this video, we'll explain how Toyota's new battery works, when it might be launched, and why many believe it could become the biggest automotive revolution of the next decade. Is it really possible? Watch till the end because what you're about to learn could decide the future of your next car. And yes, before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss updates like this. Toyota's market position. Before diving into Toyota's battery technology, let's look at Toyota's position in the global market. Toyota, one of the world's largest automakers, has always been known for its reliable and long-lasting vehicles. From the 1,990 seconds to today, if there's one company that has consistently believed in the power of petrol and diesel engines, it's Toyota with models like the Corolla, Camry, Innova and Fortuna becoming symbols of quality and trust. But times are changing. As the world shifts toward electric vehicles, Toyota has also begun moving forward, though more cautiously than its rivals. Currently, companies like Tesla and BYD lead the electric vehicle market, while Toyota has taken a slower approach. Instead of jumping straight into EVs, Toyota focused first on hybrids. The best example of this is the Prius, the world's first mass-produced hybrid car which sold in the millions. In recent years, Toyota has increased its efforts in the electric market, but data shows it's still in the early stages. By 2023, Toyota had sold around 1.9 million hybrid and electric vehicles combined, but most were hybrids. In contrast, Tesla and BYD sell millions of pure electric cars every year. The main reason Toyota has lagged behind is its continued reliance on traditional engines and hybrid technology. Toyota believes that shifting the entire world to electric vehicles overnight isn't realistic. That's why it views hybrids as a bridge technology, a gradual path toward full electrification. However, things are now changing. Global warming, stricter emission regulations and pressure to adopt green energy have forced Toyota to take electric mobility seriously. In recent years, the company has introduced several electric concept cars and launched new models under the BZ series. The BZ4X, Toyota's first mainstream electric SUV, is already available in markets like the US and Europe. Although its sales haven't skyrocketed yet, it's clear that Toyota is preparing to establish a strong presence in the EV world. Toyota's trump card, the solid state battery. Toyota's true advantage lies in its battery technology. The company has been researching solid state batteries for years, and if it brings this technology to market, it could directly challenge Tesla and BYD. A 1,000 kilometers range and just five minutes of charging, if that becomes reality, Toyota could suddenly leap to the top of the electric vehicle market. So, even though Toyota appears to be behind in today's EV race, its groundwork runs deep. Having already mastered the journey from petrol and diesel to hybrid, its shift to electric power is now accelerating. In the coming years, this strategy will determine whether Toyota becomes a leader in the EV world or just another participant. What is a solid state battery? The batteries used in electric vehicles today are mostly lithium ion batteries, the same type found in smartphones, laptops, and electric scooters. Lithium ion batteries work by allowing tiny particles called lithium ions to move between electrodes, this movement enables charging and discharging. However, there's a problem. Lithium ion batteries use a liquid electrolyte, which makes them functional, but also poses risks such as overheating, swelling, or even explosion. 
This is where solid state batteries come in. As the name suggests, solid state batteries use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid one. This solid material allows ions to move safely and efficiently within the battery performing the same job as a lithium ion cell, but in a safer and more efficient way. Because there's no liquid, issues like leakage, overheating and fire are almost completely eliminated. Another major advantage is energy density, that is, the amount of energy stored per unit of space. In simple terms, solid-state batteries can store much more energy in a smaller size. That's why a car that currently drives 400-500 kilometers on a lithium-ion battery could go up to 800-1000 kilometers on a solid-state battery. This is the breakthrough that has shaken the entire automotive world. Charging time is also drastically reduced. Instead of 30-40 minutes for a fast charge, a solid-state battery could be fully charged in just 5-10 minutes. Imagine going to a charging station, plugging in for five minutes and driving away just like you would after filling a petrol tank. That's why experts are calling solid state batteries a game changer. Why it's so safe and efficient. When charging, lithium ions move from the positive electrode to the negative electrode and during discharge, they flow back. This process is supported by the electrolyte. In a liquid electrolyte, ion movement is easy, but the risk of overheating or short-circuiting is higher. A solid electrolyte, on the other hand, allows more stable ion movement, making the battery last longer, hold more charge, and resist damage even after thousands of charge cycles. Solid-state batteries are far more durable, while typical lithium-ion batteries weaken after 1,000-2,000 charge cycles, solid-state batteries can last many more. This means your EV's battery won't need to be replaced for many years, a huge advantage for customers, since the battery is the most expensive component of an electric car. Companies like Toyota, Samsung, and QuantumScape are all working on this technology. Toyota, in particular, has claimed that it could launch solid-state battery vehicles by 2027. If that happens, it could spark a new revolution in the electric vehicle industry. What does a 1,000 kilometers range really mean? This number might sound technical, but in simple terms, it's fascinating. When you buy an electric car, the first question that comes to mind is, how far can it go on a single charge? That's what we call range. Currently, most electric cars can go between 300 and 600 kilometers per charge. So, if you need to drive long distances, say from Delhi to Mumbai or New York to Chicago, you'd have to stop and charge multiple times along the way. But with a 1,000 kilometers battery, the entire experience changes. For example, the average car owner in India drives 40-50 kilometers per day. In the US, it's about 60-70 kilometers, and in Europe, around 30-40 kilometers. That means a 1,000 kilometers range car could easily last 15-20 days of daily driving on a single charge. No more constant anxiety about finding a charging station. Even long road trips would become worry-free, since the fear of running out of power would vanish. Now compare this with petrol and diesel cars. The average petrol car gives 15-20 kilometers per liter, 